What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Mazik, a.k.a. Unique Mazik, the hardest working man in sports and gaming. And I'm a fight guy, a Forbes contributor, also uh, writing for Heavy.com. And we're covering UFC Fight Night 171. The main event, have well, I've already put out a odds and prediction video for every single fight on the card. It's time to talk about this main event. Uh, and these odds are presented by Bet Online minus 183 favorite Anthony Smith taking on the plus 158 underdog Glover Teixeira right now. Don't forget to subscribe, click that uh, like button as well, and also hit the notifications bell so that you can know when new videos arise. And if you do want to see the other previews and predictions and odds videos for this particular card in the upper right corner of the screen, you can click that label. Let's talk about this fight. Uh, Anthony Smith, I don't know. I, I still feel like, and I understand Anthony Smith was able to get his uh, self a, a title shot uh, against John Jones. Obviously, he fell short in that fight. And same thing could be said for Glover Teixeira. But I don't know. It's something about Anthony Smith that I still feel like there's something left to prove. Because if you look at his ascension, right, uh, up to a title shot, Anthony Smith got a title shot on the strength of, okay, he he knocked out Elvis Mutopsic, okay, he stopped Andrew Sanchez. He also stopped Hector Lombard. But then he was stopped on a kick to the body and finished by Tiago Santos, which we are already know there's no shame in losing that on. Tiago Santos nearly beat John Jones. But then the real drive towards the title was a knockout victory over Rashad Evans, who was way past his prime, had no business still competing. A knockout victory over uh, Mauricio Shogun Hua, also someone fighting past their prime. And then there was a submission victory over Volkan Uzdemir, who, in my opinion, just looked completely gassed during that fight. But I'm not taking anything away from Anthony Smith. He got the win. Then he was thoroughly beaten by John Jones. Easy unanimous decision loss. Now, bounce back. Last fight in June of 2019, he beat Alexander Gustafson. But I would argue that Alexander Gustafson had one foot outside of his UFC career already, and he retired shortly after that. So... I don't know. For some reason, it just feels like Anthony Smith still has something to prove. And maybe he still feels that way as well. So he'll get an opportunity to do it against a veteran like Glover Teixeira, who has really never lost to anybody who is not like a borderline elite level fighter. OK, unanimous decision lost to Corey Anderson back in 2018, lost to Gustafson when Gustafson was still, I think, uh, competing at the top of his game. The boxing that Gustafson did in that fight when he just battered. Uh, it, Glover to share until he stopped him in the fifth round was just exemplary. And then in 2016, that knocked out in 13 seconds by Anthony Johnson. I mean, just totally overwhelmed. You know, Rumble just was on a different level at that point. Lost to Phil Davis and also, of course, like I said, lost to John Jones. So in the UFC, those are the only losses that he has. And these are these are big time fights, big time opponents for the most part. Uh, but he is on a three fight win streak. Uh, he submitted Carl Robertson, who's also on this card. He submitted Ian Kutilaba, uh, and he also won a split decision over a very tough Nikita Krolov. So here's my thought here. I'm trying to figure out what type of fighter. Well, I, I'm not trying to figure out. I, I see what type of fighter gives Glover Teixeira an issue. Who is this guy, right? And if you look at it, it, it look at the opponents. It's generally guys who are better with boxing. Uh, a little trickier with the hands or with the feet. These are the guys who have generally given him a problem. Uh, the the bigger bruising type of light heavyweights, which is what I would say Anthony Smith falls into that category, hasn't hasn't you know traditionally given him that sort of a problem. So I don't know from a stylistic standpoint, and, and that's always what tells the story. Styles make fights. How how much uh, will Anthony Smith's big bruising style give Glover Teixeira a problem? The other factor that you also have to consider is age. Obviously, uh, Glover Teixeira is 40 years old. He'll be 41 in October. That is definitely a factor. Anthony Smith is much younger. He won't turn 32 until July. But from what we've seen from Glover Teixeira lately and recently in his most recent fights, last three fights, he fought three times in 2019. There's nothing that we've seen to say, hey, things look a little shaky for him. So I, I, I'm of the opinion 
that we can still use what we've seen from Glover Teixeira to talk about what's going to happen in this fight and also talk about what we've seen from Anthony Smith. I, I certainly feel like this is a competitive fight. I certainly feel like this is a fight that Anthony Smith can win. He's a bigger, longer guy. Um, I think he may be physically stronger overall. Uh, but I think that Glover Teixeira is a tighter striker. His his strikes are tighter. I think you another thing that we we sometimes forget about with Teixeira because he does pack such a wallop in his strikes is the fact that he is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. He also is very good on the ground. And I think he reminded Carl Robertson of that when he got the submission against him. So I, I'm not necessarily saying I see him submitting Anthony Smith, but I do see him catching Anthony Smith. I do see him tagging him with some tight counter strikes, especially on the inside. Don't underestimate Glover Teixeira's fight IQ. I, I think that's something that has to be th taken into consideration. Obviously, Anthony Smith's a very bright guy as well, and, and I don't expect him to come in with a poor game plan. But I really, really like Glover Teixeira for the, for the slight upset on this card. And I've gone with upsets a lot. For this card i generally don't pick this many but i think i got four upsets on this card you got to check them out make a make sure you click the link in the upper right corner of the screen but this is one of my upset picks for this card i like glover Teixeira to get this victory i'm not gonna go out i hesitate to say he's gonna stop him and this is my respect for anthony smith it's really me showing respect for anthony smith but Teixeira has been the type of guy that when he hurts a guy He's able to get the finish. And I think that same trend continues. He's going to stop Anthony Smith. That's my prediction. I'm going out on a limb. You guys hit that comment section. Tell me. You only got a day or so to, 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 to give me garbage about it because the fight is on tomorrow. But I'm going to go with Glover Teixeira to get this victory. Going out on a limb on these predictions. Uh, it's a lot of close fights. So none of this is like, you know, crazy. We're going against a minus... You know, I'm not going against a minus 400 favorite here, but I do like Glover to share to get this victory by stoppage. Uh, so we'll see what happens. As I mentioned, let me know in the comment section what you think. Don't, also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, uh, and also click that notifications bell so that you'll know when new videos come up. As always, I appreciate you watching. God bless and peace.